welcome back. We had a wonderful vacation. It wasn't exactly the kind you read about in the travel folders because it seemed the Lewis's had a great deal to catch up on during the summer. But it was very satisfying. And when our men told us it was time to come back here again, we were very happy about that, too. One of the men in our company is a radio ham. They tell me there's one in every neighborhood. Now, that's an amateur radio operator who comes home from work with a new piece of radio equipment, attaches it, washes up, eats his dinner, and then flicks that switch, which takes him out of his neighborhood, out of the country, to places and people that, well, most of us only read about. But then that's part of our story tonight. It all begins in one of those heavy mountain snowfalls. out in the car, you know. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's cold, baby? I'm frozen. Why don't you sit down here? I'll take off your boots. Yeah. Ooh. Give me your hands. I'll warm up for you. It's still there. It wouldn't be. Where? Oh, baby, I missed you so much, it really went out of my mind. But that's all behind us, isn't it? We're starting over. From here on, we're set. You've got a job. <laughs> no, no, that's still strictly for the peasants. Now, when Duke Cole operates, he brings home more than just a paycheck. Darling, you're on parole. You're supposed to be working. Well, I am. I'm self-employed. Doing what? Promoting. Duke? Duke? Hmm? Oh, come on, baby. Don't look at me that way. I, I promoted all this for us. Yeah, but how? How, how did you do it, Duke? Well, I was up in Las Vegas, and I met the owner, and I yeah. uh, kind of showed him around, took him under my wing. Yeah. We became real buddy-buddy. And then when I told him my wife was coming back to me, <laughs> well, he practically gave me the joint for a second honeymoon. Not bad, huh? Come on, let me shoot. It's pride and joy. It's a shortwave radio set. Ship to shore. Any ship to any shore. And you know what he uses it for? No. What? Keep in touch with Wall Street. Oh. <laughs> and how about these guns? Aren't they terrific? Yeah, they're wonderful. Man seems to have everything, doesn't he, dear? Well, not quite. He hasn't got you. <laughs> Come on, let me show you what else I promoted for you. Oh, where do you see the food locker? This guy's got the greatest assortment of child you ever saw in your life. Oh. Entree, madame. Well. How's this for a setup, huh? Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, look here. Huh? Beef, pork, chicken, chopped suey, Hungarian goulash, mountain trout, anything you want. Well, I think I'll just leave these steaks here and let them thaw out for a while. Okay. Storm sounds like it really means business, doesn't it? With my girl here, I couldn't care less if the whole world blows away. Did you hear that? There's a dog outside. Sounds more like a wolf. No, no, listen, it's a dog. <laughs> That's quite a wolf. I don't think so. I think he's just worn out from fighting the storm. Poor kid. Oh, Duke, he's like ice. Get him something hot to drink, will you? 
Well, that's all we need, a punk kid to loss up our plan. Oh, hurry up, will you? Go on. Oh, sure, sure. Cafe Diablo, maybe, with uh, burning brandy. Oh, you idiot. Just heat up that consomme I open. Consomme. Oh, honey. Chef! Chef! It's all right, it's all right. He's right here. Think you could tell me your name, son? Ted Mayhew. There you go. Oh, good. Here, Miss Nightingale. Come right up here now. Now, drink some of this, Ted. Take a good big swallow. All right, that's enough. Hey, look, Sonny. Sonny, where do you live? Hmm? Come on, answer me. I live. Here. Took this kid sick. Now he's burning up. Perfect setup. Now what? Oh. Duke, see if there's a thermometer in the house, will you? Duke, come here. Put your ear right down there and listen on his chest. What does it sound like? Sounds like bubbles. One hundred and four. Look, all kids get fevers. It's pneumonia. I know. My kid brother had it. It was just like this. My mother used cold house to bring down the fever until the doctor came. Cold house. Rita. Yeah? There isn't any doctor up here. Well, there must be. Call the operator and find out, huh? Shutter came loose in the wind. Oh. Did you get a doctor, Duke? Look, baby, I uh, I don't think we ought to be making any phone calls. Why? Why not? Well, because. Well, look, I, I didn't exactly get permission in writing to use this place. Operator, I. Look, I broke my parole. Now, there may not be a doctor up here, but there is a sheriff. There's probably a pickup order for me right now. Duke, that boy's got to have a doctor. He's a husky kid. He'll pull out of it. Supposing he doesn't. Supposing he dies. Rita, you want me to go back to the pen because the kid gets lost and can't find his way home? Rita, you're not going to make any phone calls. And I'll show you why. <laughs> A thousand bucks, maybe more. Enough to take care of us, to give us the start we gotta have. They didn't kill anybody to get it, either. You wouldn't kill a little boy to keep it, either, would you? Rita, the kid's got a cold, that's all. He's gonna be all right. All right, all right. It's all right. Okay, Duke, if you're sure. You're sure. You won't be sorry, baby. No. So, could you fix that shutter? It makes me nervous. Sure. Operator, this is an emergency. Will you please connect me? Operator? Hello, hello, operator. Operator, would you... Save your breath, Rita. The phone's out of order, and it's gonna stay out. Tried. Mm-hmm. You tired? Yeah. Hungry? Yes, I am hungry. Good. I'll fix the steaks. Duke! Duke, don't let's bother about the steaks. It takes so long. Can't we just open it? 
can or something and heat it up. Sure. Duke! I'll go with you, huh? That's my girl. How about some spaghetti and meat sauce? I think yeah. there's some in here. Well, look, we got beef stew and uh, chicken a la king and... Hey, Rita. Hey, Rita, open the door. Rita! Rita, open the door! Rita! Just send, press transmitter button. Rita, open the door! Hello? 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 Rita! Local stations. Thomas Nakamura, on the island of Oahu. Where are you, please? Over. I'm in California, Ridgeline. Over. Where is Ridgeline, please? Over. It's in the mountains over Los Angeles. Look, I'm in awful trouble with a sick child here. How, how do I get a local station? Uh, we've been caught in a blizzard. Over. That is why you cannot get your local stations. Storm has broken your heavy side layer. Please just kindly do not change your dial setting. Your friend Nakamura will try for advice of doctor for sick child. Please, give me your call letters. Here they are, right in front of me. KN6ABR. Did you hear me? Thank you. KN6ABR. This is K6OQM. Please keep receiver running on this frequency. Next voice you hear will be doctor. I hope. Goodbye. Goodbye and thank you. I picked up your SOS by relay from Stockholm. I understand you're marooned in the mountains with a sick child. Rita, get away from that shortwave set! Yes, when I listened to his chest, I heard a gurgling sound. Over. We call that sound rouse. It's pneumonia, definitely. Have you anything in the way of an antibiotic? Penicillin, by any chance? No, I, I don't think so, Doctor. Over. Don't you know what you have on hand? Over. Look, Doctor. I'm in a strange place. I just got here. I didn't expect to have a sick child on my hands. How am I supposed to know what's around here? Over. First, young lady, you must control yourself. We can't expect a hysterical nurse to save our patient, now can we? I'm sorry, Doctor. Go ahead, I'll do whatever you tell me. Over. Vodka. Dr. Wilson, do you hear me? Over. Wait, Did you hear me, Dr. Oil of Eucalyptus? Over. Excellent. I can't promise it'll save the boy's life, but it'll help. Now follow my directions carefully.
I put over the boy. There's a vaporizer underneath it. Oh, Doogie's so sick. He's so sick. Calling KN6 ABR. Come in, please. KN6 ABR. I've got you. I've got you. It's about the boy. I don't care what it's about. Oahu calling. KN6 ABR. Come in, Look, it's only, it's only an amateur operator wherever in Honolulu. He, he got me a doctor in England last night. He stayed on me here all night telling me what to do for the boy. Please. All right, see what he wants. KN6 ABR, over. This is your friend, Thomas Nakamura, who is good news for you. Very happy to report that I have made contact with Los Angeles County authorities. Sheriff's Air Rescue Patrol of Los Angeles County is sending a helicopter to Ridgeline, California. Officers will fly your sick boy to hospital. They will need a signal from you as to exact location. So they can land. Did you hear, please? Over. Yes, I understand. Over. This is Thomas Nakamura, Island of Oahu, signing off for now. Goodbye, and good luck. Goodbye, and thank you. Oh, this is great. The Sheriff's Patrol. I suppose you know what that means. Yeah, I know. Well, there's still one good thing. If we don't put out that signal, the helicopter won't know where we are. And the roads are open, they'll find us anyway. Oh, no, no, because we're going to be long gone by that time. Out of this mess. Supposing we do get away, how are we ever going to live with it? Oh, you get off it? No. Honey, you can't be as callous as all that. Look, you've made mistakes, you're tough, but down deep inside, you're a right guy. That's the guy I came back to. Don't you understand that, Duke? Don't you, huh? Go look at the kid. Mason. It's my wife. How do you do? 
You set some kind of a record sending an SOS by the way of Hawaii. The boy's Ted Mayo, isn't he? Yes, he is. And that's what we figured. His parents will bless you two for the rest of their lives. Had no trouble in finding your signal. When I spotted it, I knew we were in. I stamped it out in the snow. This boy might have been dead if it weren't for the care you've given him. Oh, uh, <laughs> We, we got an awful lot of help from a, a doctor on that short wave. Yeah, I know. He made the front pages this morning. Grammar on short wave. The world's radio traffic was halted last night so a California woman could find medical help for a stricken child. Her appeal was picked up and relayed around... Don't your face look familiar? Do cold, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. That's right. And you marked out that pattern in the snow? Why? Why did you do it? She thought there was some good left in me. Maybe she was right. The character Duke in our story tonight is a pretty good example of what Shakespeare meant when he said, men at some time are masters of their fate. Well, good night. See you next week. Mm -hmm.